Arthur Better BF says if uh, David Benavidez makes the climb up to 175 pounds, that he would have no problem uh, <clears throat> blessing him with the title shot. We know he holds the IBF, the W Super WBA, and I believe he holds the WBO light heavyweight titles of the world. I think he might have a lineal title too. I could be wrong on that. Dimitri Bivol <clears throat> holds the other WB. I mean, excuse me, he holds the IBF, the WBO. In the WBC, I'm not sure if he holds the ring title, but Dimitri Bivol holds the Super WBA. Also, Dimitri Bivol signed a two-fight agreement to fight Lyndon Arthur, which will be on this heavyweight card. He I think he's the only one that ain't a heavyweight on the card. December 23rd, live on the Zone for 40 bucks pay per view. Um, and then he said his second fight of the deal is to fight the Callum Smith Arthur Better BF winner, which is supposed to go on already, but <clears throat> Better BF had a dental surgery, so it's going on at the end of January. But let's speak on the uh, Benavidez part first, and then I'll work my way to the Bevo part of it. But at the same time, he said, you know, Benavidez has showed a lot of respect towards Better BF. He said he'll move up and fight him. Probably would need a couple fights before he fought Arthur Better BF, but that's the fight that he's interested in. Um, you know, and, and I said that's probably one of the best fights when you talk about no name, no nothing, just action. Probably one of the best fights to be made. You know what I'm saying? If you know, better BF will probably be the smaller man in that fight by far. Um, you know, the Benavidez have maintained that David can box. Like they have no problem. They have to start hitting, not getting hit, and they can box. You know, um, but sometimes when you got a freight train coming, sometimes you gotta walk to them, bag them up, and don't let them get going. The problem with better BF is that he generates power in short play, in short spaces. Some punchers gotta Everything got to be right. They got to be in balance. They got to get the leverage on the shot. With better BF, he able to get power in short areas. You know, he just naturally heavy-handed. So, at the end of the day, you know, Benavidez probably got a height and a reach advantage. Today, if you don't know how to use your height and reach advantage like most fighters today, <clears throat> you know, um, it's really not an advantage. So, yeah, it's really not an advantage, but... Um, you know, action pack was one of the better fights to be made. Uh, like I said before, you know, uh, Benavidez has got a, he probably got a hand speed advantage, probably going to be a little bit more lively at, at 175, but he said he probably need a couple fights before he get in there with a guy like that. And the thing about it is he going to be in there with somebody that's going to attack that body. You know what I'm saying? He going to be in there with somebody that can attack that body. It better be F can box a little bit too. So you know, it's probably it's probably gonna be the modern day Hagler Hearns. You know, with just both of these dudes probably on some Mugabe Hagler type shit. Both of them dudes going into savage mode. It's gonna be about, you know, we know better BF can take it, but at the end of the day, he getting older and older. <clears throat> you know, David is the fresh young lion, but the thing about better BF, he gonna test you upstairs and downstairs. You know what I'm saying? Think about Benavidez, he gonna test you upstairs and downstairs. So it's a, it's a really good fight. You know, I think Benavidez had to bring his jab. Uh, to the fight, no doubt about it. You know, um, you know, he had to bring his jab to the fight, but I believe he's outgunned in the power department. You know what I'm saying? But you know what he lacks in the power department, he makes up with speed and volume. So, yeah, that's probably the best fight, action pack wise. Probably the best fight to make. You know, for sure. You know, because they, you know, they both gonna be throwing some thunder. You know, better be at Benavidez. Just going to be walking the smaller guys down, beating guys to the body and wearing them out. Um, but, you know, some of them shots that, that he like that he liked to let guys get in early, he can't allow that versus better be at one punch can change the fight. So one punch can change the fight, but that'd be an interesting fight. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a fight. Ain't nobody calling for, you know what I'm saying? Because they had, they had two different weight classes, but it's probably the best fight to make overall, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? From a, a, pun, a pun, uh, for from an action pack, two punchers. You know, one guy got more speed, one guy got more crack. Um, both can hit to the body, both can go upstairs. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said before, that's that's a hell of a fight. That's a hell of a fight. But obviously, the big money is at 68. You know, with Canelo Alvarez for David Benavidez. You know, and I think you know. Versus if you can't get Canelo and you start winning the other options, I mean, you can fight morale, no doubt about it. But would you give more credit for fighting morale or fighting better BF? 
At this point, you're going to get more credit for fighting better BS because he got three titles and possibly got the lineal title. So I'm not sure if he got the lineal title, so I said possibly. So that, that might that might make a bit more sense, you know. But, but, um, but yeah, that's that's one of the best fights that, that possibly could be made in boxing, if not the best. So, you know, I, I respect Benavidez as he take that fight at any point in the near future. Um, but that's 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 a war. That's worth eighty nine ninety nine. You can get your money's worth. You're gonna get your money's worth, but you know, I don't mind if I blame him for chasing chasing that Canelo fight. You know? And if you gotta clean up Dave Morale, that's it. What who else is there to be? Everything else is just a backwards movement after David Morale to be honest. And people can make a case that fighting David Morale is a back is, is a backwards. Cause who else is there to 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 beat? You know, Plant, Andre, Morel, Durrell. Who else? Zach Parker didn't move up to 75. I mean, being Ryder, Munguia, Berlanga. Those guys not going to fight you. They trying to hold off a Canelo fight. So that's why Benavidez was trying to get Berlanga so bad because he knew Berlanga was going to, I mean, uh, Munguia, because he knew Munguia was going to be a line for Canelo. Now he's trying to get Jamal. He's trying to, trying to cut Canelo opponents off. But when you waiting around for that type of money, you can't blame them guys. Can't blame him. So, I mean, morale might be the next progression, but after that, ain't nothing else there to do but defend against mandatories. You know? So, you know, Canelo even said, you know, they said, will you fight him in September? Or Marcus Villegas got the interview with him being somewhere. He said, maybe after that, down the line. Down, he ain't trying to fight him, bro. And today's fans are not not going to care. Oh, he ain't did this. He need, he too big. He need, You know what I'm saying? I've never seen a group of fans not want to see the best fight like this generation of fans. Ain't seen it. So Canelo ain't going to be required to rematch Bevel. He ain't going to be required to fight David Benavidez. That's why I don't say he a legend, bro. He ain't shit. You know, he fought Triple G and, 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 and man, whatever. He had the same WBC. had to strip that nigga to fight Triple G, even though I don't think it was right. If you fight in the case, you fight in the case. I don't think that's cool, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, David, Demetri Bivel said he signed a two-fight deal that include Arthur Better BF and the Callum Smith winner. So, you know, I won't completely write Callum Smith off because of Better BF, Better BF age, but they trying to look to make that fight happen in the middle of next year. All right. So I think Better BF won it at some part of the year. And I think Beaver won it in like in June. Better BF won it somewhere. Like something after before after Ramadan. I can't remember what it was. But they had to agree on the on the proper date. But you know, Turkey over there, um, that's running that's running that that's putting all the fights on um he said that he gonna make it his duty to make the fight so glad that he a boxing fan and he got great taste in fights because that's gonna be another good one before we can talk about benavidez versus bevo benavidez versus better bf you know they got a fight now better bf said that he didn't want to fight him you know he was right in bevo's face and said bevo always talking about he want to fight but never want to fight and it's a rumor that they sparred and better bf got the better of him so you know Better BF said, I mean, Beaver said he preferred, you know, the unification over the big money fights and all that type stuff. So we'll see what they can do. You know, um, you know, Beaver definitely a live dog, very strong guy, good speed, good footwork, good leverage on his shots. You know, the question is, when he get cracked, what he will know what happens? Can he keep better BF on the outside all night? And I think he got enough crack to keep better BF at bay. But the problem is, you know, better BF can box a little bit, too. You know, and with better BF, um, if he able to work his way on the inside and start touching Beaver body, then I think you're going to see the best Beaver come out. I think you're going to start seeing Beaver throw missiles, throw real bombs. You know what I'm saying? So Beaver got the footwork and the, and the strength to keep better BF on the outside, but for how long? You know, I think once better BF start landing that jab, that power jab where he leap in with that jab, that start opening everybody up. So. You know, but better be if they face off in Saudi Arabia for Nganu and Fury, you know, and better be if basically said that Beaver said he always want to fight, but don't never really want to fight. So Beaver bought that better be about that action. But that that's another great fight. Might be might be fight of the year. The one thing about fight of the years that be going on early in the year, man, 
people be forgetting about them and they just go with fresh in their mind. It's kind of like a championship fight. You see a guy <clears throat> win the first eight rounds and somebody finish off the first, finish strong in the last four. People tend to forget, you know, what happened in the first eight sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I still feel like Yard and um and Better B have had the best fight that I seen last year. I didn't see all the fights. That's the best fight that I seen last last year. And I mean, shout out to my boy Jarico Quinn in Detroit. He uh, knocked out that Peter McGrail cat. That's a good knockout of year candidate. Pulled that one out of his ass. Pause. And then also you had Rayo Rayo uh, knocking out Colbert. And then doing the, the 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 New York pose on his ass, squatting down and posing. I mean, it's savage. Um, yeah, savage. You know that, that people don't know how savage that was. That's just as savage as you know uh, <laughs> Caleb Plant burying Anthony Durrell after knocking him out. <laughs> Real, that might be a little bit more savage dude hit that nigga with the, the the new york pose bro but hey it is what it is let me know what you girls and guys think thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel and the subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notification increase your chance get notifications we go live or drop a video check out the box news playlist for more videos like this hit the link tree you can find me on twitter instagram spotify anchor cash app Venmo, paypal apple podcast google podcast talk nine check out the box news playlist Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Um, other than that, man, yeah, follow me on Kick, Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, the whole nine. And uh, donate to the channel. That helps. But best way to donate, share, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.